my ease out to the side. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to talk about what in the hell is this, Craig? Girl, she's been really doing her thing over at the Breakfast Club while just not hilarious. It's been off on maternity leave. Mm. Oh, really? Now the people now, so you know, remember when they had like a rotating? Now you know I had my hair like that when I roasted. Uh huh. Head. Ain't that so? Uh huh. But they've been saying in the comments that they really need to keep her because remember when when before they made just not hilarious, um, the actual co-host. She was one of the rotating people that would come all of the time. I'm going to tell you something. I told you all before. It was painful for me to even watch. I used to watch The Breakfast Club faithfully. But once Angela Yee left and Just Not Hilarious started coming over there, it was like, girl, I can't even watch this no more. First of all, she didn't have no great, great questions. She didn't study. And then whenever, whenever it was about politics, she just kind of checked out. And even when it was about a movie or something like that, she just didn't have good questions. I'm talking about just not hilarious. And she didn't have good questions. And it was just like, girl, did you watch the movie? Did you see the trailer? Did you uh, like, it was just like, she just rolled out of bed and just went to the studio. And then when they started uh, broadcasting from her house, it just, it just wasn't good. So she's more insightful. Baby, this girl is a journalist. Oh. She is digging deep. She's asking questions. She's at, she has great follow up questions. Okay. She's not fanning out and all acting all starstruck. And she just her chemistry. <laughs> she is really there. wants to know what's going on. She's not trying to be shady. Exactly. And like when when they were trying to figure out who should be the the actual host, I like this girl. Now obviously they didn't choose her, but this is the one that I thought they should have chosen. Oh, really? so. I was going to say, because if she was the one that's doing the guest co-host, I was going to say, do you think she, that she would be replacing her? Well, I'm hoping that Jess won't come back. I'm, I'm hoping that the program director for The Breakfast Club will, will pay attention to the comments and the YouTube. Because I'm telling you, every video since this girl has been there, they are in the um, comments saying, oh, my God, please keep her. <laughs> like. Even the people who were voting for Jess to be the oh, co-host. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I got. I just want to correct picture. her. Yeah. Even the people who were who were vote, you know, who were vying for Jess, they're like, no, no, yeah, we we chose wrong. We need to put Lauren in here. Lauren is the better guest. Oh, okay. judge. I mean, it's, judge. I mean, I know y'all waiting on me to say something. I'm letting Craig have this. Right. I mean, I was just gonna say like the fact that she, you guys say that she's very articulate. <coughs> I think that would be a good thing because to have a whole bunch of people in the show that aren't really with no shade to them, but they mm -hmm. aren't really uh, articulate as you guys mentioned her to be, it's mm -hmm. good to have that medium in there. Yeah, because I mean, there's enough silliness with with Charlemagne and 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 envy and with his uh, uninformed ass, <laughs> and he went to Hampton. Go figure. <laughs> But he only be having decent questions. It's like he he can't even pronounce the people's names. God forbid Iyanla Van Zandt go back over there. He still can't get that lady's name right. <laughs> I'm not doing it, y'all. I'm just chilling. <laughs> okay, we can move on. That's all I wanted to no, say. I'm just not doing it. Because they, they sure? waited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, we, we, we can move on. All right, no problem. We yeah. ain't going to talk about it. Yeah. I mean, you ain't going to say nothing. Yeah. Um, Mo, is that um? I want to though. Oh, go ahead. Did you want to? No, <laughs> I do, but it ain't gonna be right. But I mean, just gotta be looking at this and like, damn, she is really good. If she's honest with herself, come on now, you got to be honest with yourself and really look at it and be like, you know what, this girl is better for the job. She needs to step down like Biden stepped down. If Biden can step down from these United States as the president. She can surely step down from the breakfast club. Craig, did Biden really step down? They had to, they had to ease him down. No, no. They, well, the, they stepped him down. <laughs> well, the people in the comments are stepping just not hilarious down. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need the, I'm gonna need the powers that be over there at the breakfast club to be paying attention and give the people what they need. Now you know Eve was on the um, breakfast club the other day. Oh, I like okay. Eve. The rapper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that girl? Na 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 na. Eve, that girl. Okay. So she was talking about living in London. She lives in London now. She's been there for ten years with, with, her, her, white, with her white husband. 
with her husband. Yes, he's white. <laughs> with, with her white billionaire husband. No, he's not a billionaire. She did say that on the show. What is he? He's just a multimillionaire? They Googled and said he's about $60 million. Well, what is she? Isn't she about $60 million too? I don't know. Let's look and see. Who's that girl? Na, 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 na. It says she has about 12. I would take her to well. I would too. <laughs> and add it with mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. Um, this one right here, Mo. Um, wait, let me find it because I we, we I gotta get to this. I, I want to slide this in there so badly. Okay. This girl, don't do that because I can't. Oh, oh yeah. I got, oh wait, what? hold on. No, don't do that. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> no we can't. I can't. Yes, we are. I didn't say I was going to do anything shady. I just want, I feel like we need to talk about it. It's coming back. It's not up there yet, is it, Mo? No, because I'm still waiting. I'm, I'm waiting for her. Put it up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was waiting for Maddie. That's why I ain't put it in there. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have anything to say. All right, I'm about to put it in there. Because I, I did see the little picture. I, now, I don't have anything now, to now, say. Now, girl, I gave you Tyler Perry, girl. I ain't said a word. Oh. Yeah, don't. I'm not. For Girl, me. you over there getting that Tyler Perry coin? <laughs> and, and, and you know how I, I feel a, about I his need work. A 30 second break. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how I feel about I his need work. A 30 second break, please. Thanks. <laughs> Anyway, I was going to tell you about Noah's Ark coming back, but don't worry about it. It is? Is it? That's what they say. What you, where did you see that? Let me see. What did you say? Put it up there. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Right here. Oh, everybody looks amazing. So they were doing a table read for it? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I can't wait to see, I can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> Remember love. Oh, let's see. You and me. Wonder if they went and took some acting class. Back when we were free, probably did. <laughs> let's hope. But anyway, um, what's next? Well, I, I, I think you oh, wanted to talk, you know, talk about the comments. Oh, we heard enough of the theme song. <laughs> girl, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to turn this corner, girl. <laughs> I'm trying to turn the corner Remember in this Buick. I, Let me turn the corner. Yeah. Yes. Let Le me turn the corner. Just leave it alone. Okay, turn that song off. And, uh, while we and listen, we, why and while we're talking about why are we not talking about the new trailer that came out for Beauty in the Black? For who? The Beauty trailer the for Beauty in the Black. I don't know that. What's that? 
It's the Tyler Perry series that's coming oh, to Netflix on October the 24th. Yep, yep. Oh, go ahead. You do that. It's Beauty and the Black. Oh, no, okay, me... tell them. It's coming to Netflix Should've October the 24th. Okay. Did you want to say anything else about it? Because <laughs> I certainly don't. Well, I will say this. Now that the trailer's out. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can, I can talk? Yes. Now that the trailer is out. And the series is coming, and you know it's already been it's it's wrapped. It's, it's wrapped. I have to tell you that I honestly, when I went to work on set, I have I definitely gained a new, an extremely newfound respect for the way the Tyler Perry things work over there. Because when we when we started our day for the days that we filmed. When we started our day, everything was so different. I was like, wow, you know, um, we said a prayer before we, we started filming. And then, you know, it was working. It was, we, 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 were work, we went to work, like immediately working, working, working. And we worked because he said to us, you know, that they give me a budget, but they also don't give me the same amount of turnaround time as they give everyone else. Oh, Who is they? The people that give the money, the budgets to film. So basically, like so that's his excuse. That's what he said to us. So oh, like okay. Netflix don't give them. So Netflix don't give them a lot. Of so like let's time. say let's say if they give uh, they give fifty million dollars to to produce and shoot whatever you got to do all that and you have this amount of time to have it back in. Oh. So that's why he films his stuff in fifteen and thirty days. I I have not again. I have a new. I have a new found respect for the way that the things have, because I actually was over in there and I had to work in there. When I got it, I got my script. I, I read the script. We went in, we were filming, we filmed, we filmed. I'm on a few episodes. That's awesome. Not just one. I'm, I'm on, happy for you. I'm on a few episodes. <laughs> And let's be clear, bitch. We had to make sure my wig was laid down before I got on any. Because, honey, had you not, <laughs> had you not had made that disclaimer, I just want y'all to know that, bitch, my wig was laid down. You would have gone from forty six to sixty six. It, it don't matter. I just want to let y'all know that my motherfucking wig was laid down. But see, the fact that you had to put that in there, I didn't have to put that. I, I'm saying this to the people. I brought my people there. Well, why did you feel the need to do that? I don't know. I just made you sure. Don't, you don't know why you felt the no, need to bring your people know. there? I, I made sure that my people was on the spot. No, 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 no. Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm asking you is, because see, communication is our partner. Clarity is our friend. My question to you, beloved, look this way. I'm over here. Why did you feel the need to bring your people to a whole production? I do it every production I go to. That's from RuPaul's Drag Race. That's true. That's every every. Well, that's because they have the white people over there doing hair over there. No, they have black people there doing hair too. They do, but I know my I know the way that I want to look, and so anytime I'm casting a movie, there was there was only a couple of movies that that was that I was like, um, go off. <laughs> <laughs> um. ah, what'd you say, girl? Um, girl, mm -hmm. I'm black. <laughs> and I know y'all have a I know y'all have a <laughs> glam team. But I'm TS Mad unless y'all want me Who to, are you girl? I'm TS Madison. Uh-huh. Unless y'all want me to have a specific character that y'all want me to do, I need to look like TS bitch. And there's I'm not <laughs> leaving. I'm not getting on a film or a television program and my wig is not laid to the motherfucking floor, bitch. It's not honey happening. It's not happening. I had the, the first time I started doing TV and film, I learned the hard way of showing up on set with their glam. My very first tell my very first movie that I did, my very first feature film that I was in in the theaters, it was Zola. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I showed up to set. And grow. It was A24 and I love A24. I have a I have a very great relationship with A I have a great relationship with A24. Mm -hmm. I have a great relationship with, with Netflix. Mm -hmm. Like I have a great relationship with these people. Mm -hmm. Now, because I worked my way into, you know, into the system. When I show up to those places, the, the executives from over there, if y'all know Netflix follows me on you on, mm -hmm. on Twitter and stuff. Mm -hmm. I've expressed mm -hmm. after my first experience. 
And that lady came in and she did. She did. Bo, can I have a tissue, please? Thanks. Yeah. Here you go. What'd she do? I'm going to show you. Thank you. That white woman took that thing, honey, that she had in there, and she was trying to figure out she was doing this. She was trying to figure out which color. Which shade. Which shade, yeah. And they were telling us, honey, it's almost time for it to get so we can go film. We filmed Zola in Tampa, Florida. Right. And so we had to go on location to this club. So she was there trying... She was just trying to figure it out. And I came to set wash face. But the spirit of the mighty El Nohim told me to always bring my little bag. Yeah. So when you watch the movie Zola and you see Zola, bitch, I'm not movie painted. Uh huh. Bitch, I'm, bitch, she went over and did one or two things. I was like, oh no. <laughs> I got this. I, oh no, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I had that bang wig. I moved, I changed wigs. Uh-huh. I put my bang wig on my infamous bang wig back then, and, and that bang wig was bumped like that. And it was this because I didn't have time. Right. Because when, when we sat down and I was like, girl, wait, is this all so you're gonna touch here, this or the other? Right. And you're gonna dab me in like this, and we have these type, we have theatrical movie cameras. Right. And all that lighting. This is for theater. This is for in the movie. Right. So Zola was my first movie. After that, mm. never again. No. <laughs> <laughs> every every film, every what you call a project. So it's not just Tyler Perry, but every film, every project, everything I show with my own glam. Mm -hmm. Even if I tell them. I'm going to bring my own. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, your own, because we're part of the union, Yeah, can't come to the set. I said, well, I'll get ready before I arrive. Come to the set. Right, I'll right. be camera ready when I arrive. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You tell me the theme, and I'm going to come camera prepared. Right. Because I am not. I don't trust y'all to be, because I've been through this before. Mm -mm -mm. They try to do me that for a commercial, too. I'm like, girl, no, no. <laughs> where are the pan sticks? <laughs> Ma'am, where the where are the pan sticks? Mm. All of these, all of these light, light colors, these olives. <laughs> mm. these, these olive colors and these. No, ma'am. That's, ma that's not for me. No, no. It's I need you to go, I need the shades to start becoming a little nutmeg. Right. A little pecan. Right. Peanut butter. <laughs> I need some area of it. Peanut butter. Get my, get my children out of here. Shit, right. and take that white lady with you. Why y'all got these goddamn people over here? Right. How the fuck they get in here anyway? They don't know how to do colored skin. Why let these goddamn people come in here, and we got all these black people in right. here. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. They're trying to motherfucking. They're trying, you dab it on. Right. Trying to figure out what color girl. Skin shit. We need, I need to know. We need some nutmeg. We need some cinnamon. We need some peanut butter. Right. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if y'all go get me some black opal. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have black opal in your mouth? <laughs> Why don't you have warm beige? Right. What's up? <laughs> what girl? Warm beige. <laughs> what? What is what? What? Right. Why are you okay. girls playing with me like this? Oh my God! Chestnut. Chestnut. Peanut butter, bro. <laughs> girl, at least, <laughs> bitch, give me something, girl. Give okay. me some type of golden something. Something, girl. That's how they do. Bitch, beautiful bronze. Something. Because oh, they don't give a damn. Girl, I'm like nah. <laughs> Y'all, y'all got Karen Schaefer over here looking. She all, she's all done up, honey, because you know it's just very opaque for her, girl. Uh, girl, where is the chestnuts? Okay. Where is the honey gold, the mahoganies? Where is the things? <laughs> where are the things, girl? There are black people here. Don't you dare start putting out this thing from from Chanel. Chanel don't got black people wearing her makeup like that, girl. Oh God. They got motherfucking brown and tar. That's all they got. No in between. Nothing. Don't do that. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> Shit. <laughs> Girl, I was so Craig, I gagged. I know you did. No, I want you to see. So if you go look at me and Zola, you'll see how I, I it was it, it looked like I was it was pressed powder that mm -hmm. I had on. Because I, I had to go, it was quick because they were saying. 
we need to get on location. Mm -hmm. Had I knew then what I know now, bitch, I would have, I would have been, I would have been done before I got to set. Right. But I came to set, bitch. Then I had to. Wait a minute. Who's something? Somebody you don't put blue lights on, right? You know, bitch. Yeah. Even when I went and did the things. Mm -hmm. I brought my own. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes. When I went and did the things, uh huh. I brought my own. Oh, I'm picking up what you're putting down because I was like, she got hers, right? You know, she's watch. <laughs> she gives wash face anyway. She gives wash face. Please believe, bitch. I'm gonna be done. She's mugged boots and gives wash face, but they be having her touch like little right. dots. But bitch, I had I brought my own. Honey, we were done. I know that's right. Bitch, we were done. I was done after I got out of the truck. I was bitch, I was high noon painted, bitch. Right. At 5 a.m. Right. <laughs> high noon painted. Bitch, at five, I know that's at, right. at five o'clock a.m. I was high noon painted, bitch. Okay. 